power tools use many bearings to allow various components to rotate. Over time, a ball bearing will wear and begin to fail. A bearing that is failing will usually give warning, often with a squeaking or a squealing sound. Replacing a ball bearing is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Soja. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless drills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the brushes from the drill. Next, I'll split the gearbox from the motor housing. I'll pull the fan guard away from the armature and then I can pull the armature from the gear housing. The bearing that I'll be replacing is attached to the gear end of the armature. To remove it, I'll use a bearing separator. I place the separator over the bearing and then lock it in place with the nuts. Then I'll place the separator into my vise. And I'll tap the armature out of the bearing using a punch and hammer. I don't want to strike the gears as that would damage them. Now I can install the new bearing. First I'll place a spacer back onto the shaft and then the bearing. To secure the bearing, I'll use a socket that has a diameter about the same as the inner race but still can fit over the gearing. And I'll tap the bearing into place. Now I can place the armature back into the gear housing. Make sure the teeth align and then push the bearing in place. I'll use a rubber mallet to make sure the bearing is seated. Now the fan guard and I'll reinstall the motor housing. And secure it with the screws.
and I'll finish up by replacing the brushes. And that's all it takes to install a new bearing in your power tool. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.